Welcome to Agoracom, a small cap episode on Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced edgy show bringing the best press release out of the small cap space every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe find your next great small cap investments. Thursday, August 11th, the roller coaster volatility continues on the equity markets. I have to admit to the first time ever I tweeted this morning that I've lost complete uh, directional vision of where the markets are going, and I'm talking on an hour-to-hour -hour basis. It's impossible to keep up. The futures last night before I got to bed were green. I woke up this morning, they were red. Uh, the markets opened up this morning, green. It's incredibly hard to keep up with, and I think we have to finally admit that this is a, a lot of this has to do with black box trading. Uh, just, things are moving just too fast. This isn't human sentiment to be moving this fast, but nonetheless, that's where we're at. Markets are green right now uh, to the tune of 105 points in the Dow, but where they're going to be 20 minutes from now literally is anyone's guess. i got three stories for you from all over the place, Canada, U.S., China. So let's get straight to it. I'm going to start off with resources, financials first, Minera Andes, TSX, MAI, and for our friends in the U.S., MNEAF, uh, they put up their second quarter numbers, net income $10.7 million or $0.04 cents per share. That's an increase of $6.4 million, so about 150%. Uh, uh, compared to about 4.3 million they did last year and two cents per share. So they're definitely going the right direction. Uh, they say a lot of this has got to do with the strong performance of the San Jose mine where they own 49% uh, ownership interest. Silver ounces sold increased to 1.58 million. That's up 22%. Gold ounces sold remain at 22,000. Naturally, they also benefited from significantly higher uh, prices over last year. Uh, the average sale price on their silver is $36.18. Uh, pretty much 100% over last year, and, and their uh, sale price on average uh, gold was 14.96 this quarter. That compares to 12.33 last year. That's up 21%. So even if production remains the same, and you've got a positive outlook for gold and silver, Mineran is going to benefit. Close yesterday at 2.29, 3.58 is their high. 76 cents is a 52-week low. This morning, uh, trading down uh, half a percent on 65,000 shares. Uh, so not a big deal either way, especially given this volatility. It's nice to see something remaining firm. Out of China, uh, China Pharma Holdings, uh, CPHI is a SOC symbol. They put out their second quarter numbers and their six-month numbers. I'm going to give you the six-month because I always think that provides a better picture. Revenues, $37.7 million, up 19%. Gross profit, $14.2 million, up 7%. Net income, $10.2 million or 23 cents per share. That compares to 11.4 million, 26 cents. So obviously they're slightly down there on the bottom line numbers. But here's what I want to tell you. If they've done 23 cents for the first six months, assume they do 23 cents in the next six months because it's pharmaceutical. So there's got to be some stability. You're talking about a company that's going to bring in 46 cents per share in earnings this year. And yet they're trading as of yesterday at $2.25. That's a company to pick up for five times earnings right now with pretty great growth. Uh, so I think that's cheap, and they've got great growth, and they're the pharmaceutical business. Uh, they're especially a pharmaceutical company. you got to figure that's good value there. All of the things being equal, do your due diligence. But as of this morning, uh, they're actually down $0.10 cents to 215 uh, about 21,000 shares, so not a lot to gauge by, by right now. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm putting this on my cheap China list. And finally, for our friends... Uh, for our friend Matt Chisler over at Cord Blood America, they put out their six-month revenues, announced they're up 61%, and gross profit is up 100%. Trades on the stock symbol was CBAI. This is the umbilical cord blood stem cell preservation company. You know that business. I love that business. I think it's going to be here to stay, and it's only going to grow for a year and decades to come. I'm actually invested in a private company myself. Uh, revenues came in at $2.89 million, and that's up 61%. Uh, but for the second quarter, revenues came in at 1.43. That's up 50% uh, quarter, uh, over the same quarter last year. Gross profit, 1.96 million for the first half. That's up 100%. Uh, and it came in at $970,000 just for the quarter, up 76%. Now, I don't have the net income number, so they still may be losing money. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, you like to see that top line growth and hopefully profit's going to come with it. Uh, this is a cord blood, uh, cord blood stem cells offer uh, a powerful, potentially life-saving resource. I've seen a lot of examples of it for treating a growing number of ailments, including cancer, leukemia, and immune disorders. Cord blood closed just a 10, 10 cents, 10, 10 and a half. 52-week range is 30 on the high, 6 on the low. As of this morning, up uh, 2 cents to 12 and a half on 236,000 shares. So that's up 20%. 
You got to like that. Congratulations, Matt. I'll give you a call later today. Otherwise, that's a wrap. As always, quality over quantity. If you're watching this on Globe Investor and you're specifically looking for resource companies, then look below me or to the left of me to take a look at companies we've covered over the past few days. Otherwise, if you're not already there, get to the front page of Agoracom, watch the show on a daily basis, take a look at the headlines to my right, and get into our marketplace to discover your next great small cap stock. That's a wrap. Have a fantastic day. See you tomorrow.